In holographic storage, we use a lithium niobate crystal to store the information. So let's take a look inside the crystalline structure to understand the physical storage mechanism. To make lithium niobate a good storage media, we add an iron dopant to the crystal lattice. The iron adds an additional electron donor level and a deep trap state to the electronic energy levels of the lithium niobate crystal. To store data, we use a green laser to illuminate the crystal with the information carrying data beam and a reference beam. Where these two beams cross in the crystal, an interference pattern that captures into the data is created. In the bright regions of the interference pattern, the crystal absorbs light, causing electrons to be excited. From the iron donor level to the conduction band, where the electrons are free to move around the crystal lattice. These electrons then decay preferentially into these deep iron trap levels where they remain trapped. This results in a spatially varying distribution in electron density and associated electric field that stores the data in a hologram. The data is read out by diffracting the reference beam off the stored hologram and capturing the reconstructed data image on a camera. The media can also be erased by exposing to UV light which has enough energy to excite electrons out of the deep trap levels where they then preferentially decay back into the iron donor level. This resets the media for writing new data.